Take a moment. Slow down. Pause. Take a breath. Take a breath. As you're about to take your normal route home, you turn the corner and your eye is caught. You notice a track. It looks like it goes round the back of the buildings in the Haven Village Square. You've gone this way before, but never noticed it until now. Maybe it was the way the sun bounced off a leaf on the ground. Something got your attention. This is not a deliberate path. It wasn't put here. It's been worn by wanderers, created through curiosity and the acceptance of an invitation to explore. You move towards it, intrigued. But then you tell yourself that you should be getting home. There's no time for unnecessary detours and silly adventures. But as you reach it, you feel yourself moving towards it, along it. Something inside you seems to have already said yes. Although it's a bit uneven, the path is firm underfoot. Your ankles are tickled by long grass, reaching out to say hello as you wander past. You keep going. Something is pulling you along. Are you moving towards it? Moving away from something? This gentle force is holding you, carrying you, keeping you. You pause for a moment to take another breath. Glancing backwards, you can see where you came from. Looks different from this angle. It's like the world has shifted a few degrees. As you take a few more steps, you notice the path is welcomed by a group of trees at the entrance to a wood, a forest. The sun sends light bouncing, fizzing, sparkling between gaps in the branches and leaves. You begin to take steps into the forest, accepting the invitation, allowing yourself to be welcomed. You are safe. You are present. Take a deep breath and look around you. What do you need? What are you letting go? What is changing? What do you see? can you hear? Take a deep breath in through your nose. What can you smell? Close your eyes. What sensations can you feel on your skin, in your heart, in the core of your being? As you surrender to this moment, you are aware of the rhythms and ecosystems in the world around you. 
beneath the ground, in the canopy above your head, and in the nooks and crannies that are hiding in plain sight. Look closer. What is happening? What's the story here? You continue to move through the forest, breathing it in, noticing, seeking without forcing. Allow your mind to wander as your attention catches its sleeve on things in the environment around you. You look up and notice a plume of smoke dancing above the trees. You see as you reach a small clearing in the forest, this is coming from the chimney of a round wooden hut. As you move towards the hut, you see a sign outside, a refuge for weary travellers, all are welcome. You're compelled to open the door, something inside you accepts the invitation. You're met with a welcoming warmth and a smell of home-cooked food and a crackling wood fire. Someone is in there. They look up, smiling softly, and give you a welcoming nod before returning their attention to the notebook they're holding. They are drawing writing, reading, you can't quite make it out, but there is comfort in this moment, ease in their demeanour, confidence, acceptance. After a while they look up again and offer you a drink, pointing to an array of mugs on the side. You see there's a whole selection to pick from. As you begin to pour the liquid, you hear the words, I was hoping you'd show up. How did you know I might, you ask? I didn't, but I'm glad you did, they respond. You talk for a while about what you've seen as you've wandered through the forest. They show you a drawing they made of a bird they saw earlier. And you share a few stories about home. After you finish your drink, they tell you there might be some other people coming along soon. You're welcome to stay and I'll introduce you, or if you're not in the mood for other people right now, I'll direct you to a fun route back to the village square through some beautiful forest scenery. You get back to the village and pop into the cafe before you go home. The person behind the counter asks you if you've been to the cotter. I don't know what it is, but you've got that look in your eyes, he says, as he offers you a cup of tea before you leave. You find a cosy nook in the cafe where you write in a journal about the unexpected detour you've just taken. you need? What are you letting go? What is changing?
and when are you coming back? <laughs>